Hey, it's me. I'm JC. Just Rich JC, and it's <laughs> Happy Mother's Day week. And no lie, if you watched my last video, my hair was up, and now my hair's down. Now, yesterday was a compilation of three videos, and this is going to be just one. Um, I'm going to scale back for one day. The main reason why because today is a very important video because Happy Mother's Day to all you out there. But at the same time, I want to say Happy Mother's Day to those that don't get to celebrate time with their mom. So, real quickly, first and foremost, I am so sorry for your loss. And I know the day is a hard day for you. And I don't know this weekend is going to be a hard day for you, especially Mother's Day, because for the most part, you probably celebrated your mother. You separated, you celebrated your grandmother, you celebrated your great grandmother, whatever, whomever <laughs> was there for you in your life that represented your mom. I'm deeply apologizing for them not being here now and that being said i know today is not the easiest day and i know watching this video is not the easiest thing to even want to watch but i want to say first and foremost i still appreciate you for celebrating this day you may not get to celebrate with your grandmother you may not get to celebrate with your great grandmother you may not get to celebrate with your own mom and for that i deeply sympathize with you I've lost um, mostly only my grandparents. I've lost three grandmothers, and I made I've talked about this prior with my um <laughs> my older grandmas, and I want to say this to you out there first and foremost that I do apologize for not having that woman figure in your life anymore that grew you up, and I know it's hard because I've dealt with this three times and I do it a lot of times sometimes day by day but especially on holidays it's sometimes worse like their birthday is hard but not in comparison to them not being there to be celebrated for the days that they've done and if this is for like especially your mom out there I don't know how you're dealing with this if this is the first year second year fourth year sixth year I don't know what to tell you all I know is they tell you they won't I mean people always say it gets better Hell no, it's bittersweet because you want them here. And I don't know. I really want to say first and foremost, do you celebrate Mother's Day still? You probably may still do for, say, like a best friend um, for the many women that's still in your life and your sister, that you know, your aunt, or if you're a father yourself and you have a wife. I'm inclusive. I told y'all before, I'm always going to be very inclusive. But this is very important for you to realize, like, this is not just a get woke, but this is also for you to sometimes think about the good times that happen. There are shows that talk about this. There are, you know, people that will tell you what to do on Mother's Day. Honestly, if you feel like Mother's Day is not even your day no more, I wouldn't celebrate it. I would just let it be a day that happened. But what I would always say first and foremost is, are you okay? And if you are okay, you're still alive. And even though she's not here, they're not here, all the women that you grew, that grew you up aren't alive today. What I would say to you sometimes is remember them. Because remembering those of the past it's how we get stronger strides to the future. If you still live in the same city, state, where your mom or your grandparents are buried, maybe go to the gravesite. If not, call in the morning to some other, call your sibling, call your aunt, call your uncle, call somebody that day especially. Talk to them for a few hours and just talk about the good old times. Go out to eat with them, talk about the good old times. Do something today because I know it, I know I was talking about gathering on Easter, but you can gather for almost every holiday. Being part of the black community, what we do a lot of times is celebrate each other, especially on days like this. Now, this day is no less one of the hardest days, and losing great grandparents, and losing people that actually from you know, held you in my hand and they held me like this. Help me like this to watch me get taller than them and watch me blossom and bloom and grow as a young man. 
And they, I get, and I hope that they are proud of me from up yonder, always. And I hope they're proud of you as well. And I hope that everything you're doing now makes sense to you. And I hope that right now, more than ever, you're happy with all the stuff that's going on in your life. And I know this is one of the sub tough subjects for you as well. So if you're watching this, I thank you for watching as always. And I'm giving you a lower tone of this because to me this is very serious personally. And I don't want to ever talk about <laughs> something that I know that really may fully affect you to the point where you're about to cry or burst into tears or you're just mad because you can't spend time with her. And she matters. And don't forget that you're, you matter still first and last. And today may not be the best day for you. And that's okay. That is fully okay. But still celebrate some way your way. Somehow. Today. Now I'm signing off because no lie. I really don't know how, what else to say to you. Other than I hope you can celebrate Mother's Day some type of way. And I hope that in time, this wound will get easier to deal with. And somehow, one day, your light won't be as dark as days like this. Because the light does dim. But so does, I mean, that's part of life. And that's part of being human as well. So, I don't know if you want to say to all those out there. And if you lost someone... I deeply, once again, apologize for your loss. I'm doing it too, but at the same time, I still, still have my mom to celebrate, so I'm at all at a loss compared to some that lost their mom. So, if you have dealt with that, I apologize always. <laughs> and catch you later.